In today's video, I'm exploring a forgotten kingdom in search of macro shots just like these. woodland that I'm walking through now is gorgeous. So many opportunities for photos that I am 100% just walking past. But walking past them because I know the area that I'm going is probably going to be even better. It's this like little forgotten wilderness, this abandoned bit of I think an old quarry access road. It's so overgrown. It's like a rainforest, like a lost world. So this is where the forest path ends and turns into this lovely field. But we're going down here. That definitely was a road, an access road of some kind at some point. But as you can see, nature has reclaimed it. One of those places that's immediately interesting as soon as you walk in. It goes down this sort of gorge where they've cut these deep lines into what is now this cliff face. And this cliff face is now covered in beautiful mosses, tiny little pink flowers, some lovely little things. I'm probably going to get some quick snaps here before moving into the heart of the area. But it's definitely one of those places that the more you keep your eye out as you're walking through it, the more you're going to see. So I am going to start off with a quick shot of one of these lovely little pink flowers. But I'm specifically wanting this one up here because this one kind of appears by itself with some lovely mosses around it. So it stands out in a way that some of these other ones down here don't where they're just surrounded by the green leaves. I'm going to shoot this at f2.8, hundredth of a second. The place has really opened up. We've got these great fields of these yellow flowers. And then we've got all these huge leaves of, I mean, it looks like rhubarb, but I don't think it is. And then over here, more of the forest, lots of dead wood, rocks, all kinds of things. Now you can probably hear the traffic because right here is the main road. And it is busy because it is sort of just before commuter hour in the morning. But the plan now is basically to put my stuff down, have a little explore. I want to walk around some of these little footpaths that kind of snake their way through some of the undergrowth. There are quite a few really tiny little uh, snails on these, uh, on these plants and they have got these really delicate, intricate little shells. They're really, really nice looking things. So I am going to try and shoot a few. Just found a little insect on a leaf just down here. I've been playing around in my flash, trying to get the settings right so that I've got a nice amount of ambient light, but also I'm lighting the bug up nicely with my flash. So that does mean that I'm using quite a slow shutter speed. Um, I've been trying it at a 15th of a second, then I've been trying it at a 30th of a second. If I wasn't using flash, that would be a really, really blurry shot, but because of this short burst of light coming from the flash, it does freeze the subject a little bit more. But still, I have found that some shots don't look quite right, so I'm just trying to find that balance. been doing quite a bit of exploring so far. Just keeping my eye out, just looking under leaves, seeing what I can get, snapping away. 
Everything's really skittish though this morning. It's difficult to get a shot. But it's great being down here. It really does feel so isolated, despite the fact that it is literally next to a main road. I've been down here quite a lot and I have never, never seen another person down here. I've only ever just had it completely to myself. Never even seen a dog walker or anything like that. The way I tend to work when I'm looking for macro subjects is obviously I'm in a really big area here. So I sort of move through section by section and I pick an area, maybe it's something like this, and just sort of hang out here for a few minutes. Obviously, as I'm walking through, I'm going to be disturbing wildlife. I'm going to be making flies and everything else all fly off and and, and leave, but um, eventually they do start to come back. And the more you kind of keep your eye out, and like when you really start to look closer, you notice that there are lots of other things around. I could have seen a couple of things right here, in fact. Two insects. I think they're mating. So I'm shooting at F9 here. 30th of the second to try and bring in some more of this ambient light because it is really gloomy down here. Um, ISO 200 and I've got my flash pointed straight forwards and as you can see I've got this rubbery mag sphere on the front. That just turns the light into a slightly bigger light source and helps soften it a little, make it look a little bit more natural rather than just blasting our subjects with harsh light. Just gonna take a few more here. I think I'll leave those insects to it. It's interesting though being so close to the main road, but being in essentially this little wildlife oasis. I say little, it's not little, it's huge. I've had to hike through all of it to get here. Poking around in amongst these rocks. Just having a look. Not everywhere is going to be successful. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are thousands of little things going around here, but there are other things that I can't see particularly well. And if, if I can't even see them, then it's going to be even more difficult to photograph them. Everything I'm doing today is, is handheld, a sort of quicker macro snaps. So I don't really want to be spending time setting up tripods and setting up like extreme close up um, shots because it is a little bit more labor intensive and that's not really the point of what I'm doing today. This is all the sort of place that I imagine in autumn will be littered with amazing mushrooms, all kinds of things. It's a great idea to come back to these places when you find them again and again throughout the year, throughout the seasons, and, and just see how it changes, see what else you can photograph. This definitely is a point where I just want to spend a bit more time looking around. We've got all these great mossy logs over here, loads of branches and rocks and leaf litter. But then up here, we've got all of these mosses on the trees, on these rocks, loads of ferns. And it may well be that I find absolutely nothing, but definitely is the sort of place which I think is promising to find shots. So it's worth when you stumble upon little spots like this, spend the time. Finding macro shots typically is not a quick process. It's not something you can just do a 20 minute walk and find amazing great shots every step. I mean, if you can, then well, well done. But typically I like to dedicate a good few hours um, to kind of really scout out an area, spend the time looking for those small details. The longer you look, the more you're gonna see. All of these fallen branches with the moss on, this is all prime territory for some amazing mushrooms in autumn. So 100%. You can bet that come the autumn, I'm going to be doing another video here. Manual focus, focus to the closest point, and then I'm just going to move 
in. Great fly. I'm not sure what kind it is, but it's got these awesome looking iridescent eyes. I'm still manually focused, quite close. I'm just sort of shooting between these leaves, basically trying to find like a nice composition. I'm trying to use these leaves as slightly out of focus foreground almost like we're just sort of peering through the foliage at it. And I really like doing things like that because I just feel it, puts it in context, it really makes it seem like you're getting a glimpse into its world. So. When I'm doing these really close focusing shots, the slightest millimetre, the slightest bit of movement from you and you will lose that focus. So what I tend to do is as I'm preparing to take my shot, I hold my breath and I tense up a bit, really kind of bringing my arms closer to my body. And that just allows me to get a slightly um, more stable grip. I've actually just been on my walk back, leaving the lovely Glen area that I was in, and I found this great little stack of mushrooms. I just thought it's worth experimenting and see if I can find a shot here. So what I've done is got my camera inverted on my tripod so I can get it really low to the ground. In fact, this is the view that we're looking at right now. As you can see, we're super low down. And I've been playing around with my settings so far, trying F8 for sharpness which is giving me um, just a little over half a second shutter speed. And it's okay. But I think the problem that I've got, I'll just slightly shift it this way, is that with F8, it actually keeps a lot of that background um, in focus. And that means that the scene ends up looking quite cluttered. So actually what I'm gonna do is go right down to F2.8 for a much shallower depth of field, obviously increase that shutter speed. And I'm instead going to focus stack just the mushrooms. That way, hopefully what I can do is get nice sharp mushrooms, get all the detail I want, but selectively then not keep the background in focus. I actually ended up hating this shot, but I did really like this one when I got much closer, filling the frame with the mushrooms. And I'm actually gonna try the exact same technique here. This time I found a different composition with this mushroom just sort of inside this log. And I'm gonna start off by focusing at the closest point, which is on this mushroom there, but I'm setting it to auto focus bracket. So as it takes its shots, it's gonna move that focus across the scene. Start like this. But that does bring me to an end of this week's video. If you have enjoyed it, then do please hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe to my channel already, then please consider doing so. I would probably imagine that if you've got this far through this video then there's probably going to be others on my channel that you'll like but thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time